My name is John Cryer. I play Alan on Two and a Half Men, and this is Chuck Lorre. I'm the executive producer of the show. That is great. I love that show, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so uh, the it's yellowmike.com. Yes, we're all over the yellowmike.com. There's the past and there's the future, and uh, I think probably more important than anything is the future. They're uh, essentially their position is to uh, give us no participation in new media, the internet or any of that kind of thing, which is pretty ludicrous. You know, when you when you create something for somebody and then they go off and make a lot of money on it to suggest that they shouldn't participate in any way, shape, or form is pretty offensive. Certainly. So, um, now, from what I've understood, one of the things that the studios have done is they've um, kind of stockpiled a whole bunch of scripts, um, and I noticed that a couple of those on the list, I believe, were uh, Big Mama's House 3 and Fast and the Furious 4. And I just want to make sure nothing you guys are doing out here is going to affect those from being released. Is that, is that correct? I am sure it will not. Um, and it's precisely because of that stockpiling that we unfortunately can't expect for the strike to be quick. Okay. And of course, everybody knows the internet is going to be replacing TV and home video within you know 10 or 15 years completely. And so, if they cut us out of it now, we'll never make that money ever. And um, that's you know, residuals isn't extra money that we you know spend on cocaine and hookers. It's how we pay for our children to go to school and get braces and health care and that sort of stuff. Right, it's the it's the paycheck that we spend on cocaine and hookers, exactly right? The, right? The yeah. residuals, yeah. right? The residuals, what you, you gotta you gotta bank it before you can spend exactly it. it. Makes right. sense. Well, the producers are acting like, you know, uh, with product that's on the internet or podcasts, they're saying that this is really promotional material as opposed to product in and of itself. I mean, this is the future, you know. It's and they're acting like, well, this only serves to promote the product that's on the network. Whereas the network or television is becoming the dinosaur, so to act like it isn't, in order not to give the writers, you know, a, a fair percentage of that, you know, there wouldn't be this material on the internet and podcasts if there wasn't someone to write it. So. And if you can watch an entire episode of your favorite show on the internet, brought to you by Target, you know. <laughs> I know. Well, we had talked about the idea of having Paris Hilton do an interview in Infrared. But um, that's probably you're not going to see that, so uh, so no goes there. Well, we might do it now, because we have the idea. Scab! If uh, CBS, say, streams our show, Two and a Half Men, and they charge advertisers for it, that they'd have to give us a percentage. We're talking pennies. Pennies, exactly. Pennies. A yeah. tiny, tiny little percentage. Because right. as of now, they give you get zero. 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 Yes. Well, I would always get zero because I don't actually write my show. Uh, <laughs> but he but would, get a, you would get a zero too. I would get a zero as well because the, the actors. Would get uh, zero. And in June, uh, the SAG contract comes up, right? And the DGA. Yes, and that's that's really the, one of the big reasons. Besides the fact that I am actually a WGA member, <laughs> that I'm walking the line. That as a SAG member, I also support it because we're going to be dealing with this uh, very very soon anyway. And the, you know, the studios are coming for the writers now. They'll be coming for the actors in June. So. I'm the head writer for The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and I've been uh, with the show. Uh, I've been with Jay since uh, 1988 when he was guest hosting, and when he took over the show in 1992, uh, my family and I, we moved out here, and I, I've worked uh, on this lot since 1992. Wow, so you worked out with Jay Leno for almost 20 years yeah. then. You, you must have a Jay Leno impression, I'm oh. sure. <laughs> Everybody's got one. It's, yeah, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, I, mine is terrible, but, uh, you know, he's, he's very easy to, uh, to do an impression of. Great. Um, there he goes now. <laughs> there's Jay, one of his many motorcycles and vehicles that he that he tends to drive. Um, having written for the Tonight Show, if you could if you could write one joke about the strike, have you thought of that? What, what you'd write? Or is there? I cannot write right now. <laughs> I can't write. I really, I can't. I'm not supposed to do any writing for for, and I'm honoring this, uh, whether it's for new media like yourself here, or, or for uh, for broadcast. So I'm, I'm going to. Take a pass. That was good. It was a trick. I was going to call you a scab, and <laughs> I was going to, I was going to, I was going to get right. you busted. On, so right. good for you. No, it's a do. You can't do MySpace comments, or uh, you know. We do a show. You do a show that's on the air. When it's broadcast, rebroadcast, rerun, repeated, uh, the actors, the writers, the directors, and even the musicians get like just a small little royalty. And for some people, that makes the difference between uh, having a living salary and not. I mean, 48% of the writers in town aren't working at any given time. So, you know, only because maybe the show is a limited number of episodes or it's done for the season or, the, you know, they're canceled. Any rerun helps just build up, uh, build up their salary to a living wage. So, um, 
you know, it's, it's really important uh, that people get the message that, you know, we're out here for, for really a worthy purpose. The, the big thing, the take home for me is that if everybody downloads a movie off the internet and the studios don't get, uh, and the writers don't get paid, the studios are calling that, oh, it's just promotional, you don't deserve to be paid. But if somebody downloads something off the internet and the studios don't get paid, they call that piracy. And it's really the same thing. So the studios are being pirates to us at the same time that they've got all these ad campaigns about don't be a pirate. Don't be a pirate. Studios, pay us, please. <laughs>